servers that you visited, and you, if you click on it, it'll automatically connect you. If you okay. If you remember the password, you right. don't even have to enter the password in again. Okay. See that in MZLRs, if you can hit that. Oh, excellent. Yeah. So let's let's do that. Let's yeah. get all the way out. Let's go back in. And there we go. So excellent. All right. And let's see. The other way you do it, the way I have seen doing it is you go to Site Manager. Yeah. And that shows. Oh, you can create a site in there too, which I guess is not quite as quick as Quick Connect now, is it? That's why it's quick connect. Um, you don't have to worry about the port uh, because we use a default port, um, with whatever that is. Um, if you're on some kind of odd uh, installation and they're using a non-standard port, they'll tell you and then you'd have to put that in. All right. The last thing for today, see you thought we were done, right? So, again, watching that Steve Jobs thing. Oh, yeah, one more thing. Just one more thing to show. One more thing, yeah. And this is, again, and I always say, it's like, I, I sometimes think, you know, maybe, maybe teachers are frustrated actors or comedians or whatever, but, you know, you always think in terms of, like, the cliffhanger to get you interested to come back next time, right? <laughs> so, like, like, I used to love the TV show Alias. And, like, every time, like, at, I think it was, like, on from 9 to 10. And, like, at 9.55, you were certain that she was going to die, you know. And it was like, oh, my God, I have to turn in next week to see how she gets out. Of course she did, right, because, you know, you could check in a TV guide. It wasn't like a five-minute show, and then they had commercials for the last. So you know that she was going to make it through, but still. The cliffhanger here is... Isn't this nice? The mobile looks like a app. It's an app-like interface. That's pretty. And if if we look to, oh, I clicked on that. Did you notice how the page card sort of just slid in? It was slick. You know, so like again, let's watch. Slid back. Flip forward. That's pretty cool. All right. It's obviously an awful lot of functionality. Yet yeah, you didn't see an awful lot of code in there. In, in there for mobile, if you remember. We've seen all the code that I did for those pages or for for the for the home page. Anyhow, the reason for that is I'm using what's called the jQuery mobile framework. The J, you know, anytime you talk about a framework, you're talking about something that sort of like gives you a head start on on something. All right, so the framework for jQuery gives you a mechanism by which you can do a lot of cool things. Cool things in terms of appearance, cool things in terms of behavior. All right, there's a jQuery uh, framework for regular desktop sites, and jQuery mobile is typically used for mobile, but you actually could use it on a, on a desktop site too if you wanted. All right, and it gives that sort of mobile look to it. So it's a nice, sort of slick way to create an application, or, or I don't want to say application, to create a website that looks like a native app, all right? At least an, an Apple native app. It tends to resemble the, the iOS thing. Yes? So is it like CSS coding, or is it something completely outside of that? No, no. Remember, this is, this is a client-side technology, right? All the clients know are HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. This is a combination of CSS and JavaScript. Right, so, uh, and and probably some HTML. Well, no, well maybe some dynamic HTML. You know that, that's created by the JavaScript or whatever. So yeah, it's a combination of H, uh, of uh, CSS and JavaScript. If you looked, now, it's clipping. we gotta leave the cliffhanger. <laughs> if you look in the code though, hint, hint, this is like next week. Spoiler alert, please. Yeah. Uh, you'll see that, that I'm importing in a, a chunk of JavaScript code and a chunk of CSS code. All right. Um, I hope either you stay for lab tonight or on your own you test your um, FTP connection. I did not do any testing of that. I created your accounts and, and took on faith that my fingers were working right. So <laughs> try it out, and if you have any issue at all, let me know. All right, see you down in the lab. What, what, what room is it? 
106.